Welcome to our discussion about the Lean Sandwich Shop. The Lean Sandwich Shop is a new concept located downtown that is currently looking to break through into the market of fast casual dining by bringing a quality product and a quality experience to the consumer. The success or failure of this location will have a direct effect on whether or not this concept will succeed and if subsequent locations will follow. The reputation of Lean Sandwich Shop is everything and the reviews from the customers based on the quality of their experience and the quality of the product will determine that reputation. In order to succeed as a concept that will see future locations, this flagship location will need to get off to a mistake-free start. Unfortunately, so far, the reputation for Lean Sandwich Shop is suffering due to poor customer experience and poor quality of product being delivered to the customer. The rejected orders by customers come at both a cost to the success of the location financially, but also to the brand and the ability to expand. Growth is the primary goal laid out from the beginning for this concept. Looking at the financials and raw data as it stands now, Lean Sandwich Shop produces 600 sandwiches per day with a rejection rate of 10%. That 10% rejection rate results in a loss of $120,000 annually for this location in scrapped materials and lost labor hours. What is not yet calculated but must be considered is the damage done to the reputation of the Lean Sandwich Shop brand that will lead to decreased sales, a lack of ability to grow, and ultimately a closing of doors of Lean Sandwich Shop as a failed enterprise. We are here to identify what is causing these rejected sandwiches and provide process improvements to reduce or eliminate wasted materials and to restore the reputation of Lean Sandwich Shop as a successful and marketable brand and concept for growth. Through voice of customer feedback reviewed, we were able to identify the causes for rejected sandwiches and determine how many of the rejections fall into which categories. Once the data was collected, we used our Pareto chart to identify which defaults we could focus on to make the biggest impact quickly and have the most bang for our buck. Identifying cold sandwich delivery, wrong dressing, and wrong topping as a combined 68.8% of all rejections, we identified where we could make the biggest and most immediate impact. Cold sandwiches accounted for 36.8% of all rejections, while wrong dressing and wrong topping account for 17% and 15% respectively. We will first address the cold sandwich issues as this is a workflow issue and can when we can work to resolve. Looking at the process of making the sandwich from order to delivery, there's something that stood out to me from the beginning. That is, what happens to the sandwich once it leaves the toaster? It takes twice as long to wrap the sandwich as it does to deliver the sandwich, meaning that there will always be a delay or bottleneck after the sandwich leaves the toaster. This bottleneck may not be the most severe in the process, but it could be argued that it is the most important as it leads to nearly 37% of all rejected sandwiches as they are arriving to the customer cold. We have ensured that our toasters are heating correctly and maintaining temperature as we have added digital thermometer components that create a visual indicator to the actual internal temperature compared to relying on the toaster getting up to the selected temperature setting. <clears throat> it may not be a popular opinion to add labor to the workflow process as more labor brings higher costs and can eliminate savings. But in this case, our reputation and ability to expand our brand is on the line. And I feel that adding another employee to task number six will speed up the process of wrapping sandwiches and eliminating wait time between toaster extraction and delivery. We have three toasters and during peak, a fourth is in play, but we always only have one person wrapping sandwiches. At any given time, there could be two, three during peak hours, a fourth sandwich waiting to be wrapped, cooling down to an undesirable temperature between toaster extraction, wrapping, and ultimately customer delivery. We will look at the financial impact of added labor compared to the savings and scrap materials here in just a minute. The other issues of wrong dressing at 17% of rejections and wrong toppings at 15% of rejections can, in my opinion, be combined as they stem from the same source, a poor order recording system in task one. We can clean up and eliminate both of these mistakes simultaneously with adding simple clarity to our order recording 
format by eliminating abbreviations that are similar and removing room for interpretation from one employee to the next employee in the process. Adding these improvements and enhancements will allow us to quickly and cost-effectively eliminate 32% of our rejected sandwiches. By these enhancements and additions to our process in steps one and six, we're able to eliminate 68% of our rejected sandwiches. Let's look at the financials behind these action steps. $120,000 of annual waste was reduced by 68.8% bringing annual waste to $37,440 and an annual savings of $82,560. As promised, we still need to factor in the new cost of additional labor. $15 an hour, 10 hours a day for 364 days a year, where you're looking at an additional $54,600 in additional costs giving us a net annual savings of $27,960. To summarize we have what we have done for Lean Sandwich Shop. We have improved the process of task one and added labor to task six, reducing the amount of rejected sandwiches by 68.8%, reducing wasted and scrap materials by $82,560 annually. We have added a labor cost of $54,600 annually, which leaves our annual savings for Lean Sandwich Shop at $27,960. We have also restored the confidence of our customers and our ability to deliver a quality product and a quality experience. We have added labor for our anticipated increase in sales due to a reestablished positive reputation. We have also created a model that will be repeatable going forward and new expansion locations. All in all, we have reduced waste, increased savings, restored the reputation of Lean Sandwich Shop, and are ready to expand our brand, expand our locations, and expand your stomachs.